Hey guys, I'm Cody, editor of Mind Past Life Pro, and for my next Minecraft cutest shader tutorial, I thought I'd knock out the how to slow down water question. And yes, in the latest public cutest shader, this one being the V6.0.73 Beta Ultra. So, let's get started. Alright, first of the cutest shader unzipped, I'm ready to work with on the desktop. Double click the folder, double click the shaders folder, and locate gbuffers underscore water dot fsh. Using notepad plus plus, open it up. From here, scroll down to lines 44 to 49. To slow down water, all you'd be expected to do is add in two zeros to all the numbers. One zero, of course, if you don't want the water overly slowed. In other words, larger the number, slower the water. Save and exit. Now, as you can see in the cinematic clip, what we have done is we've slowed down the rippling effect in the water, yet we still have the waviness moving as if it was never changed. And well, it wasn't. So, let's fix it. Locate composite.fsh. Open it up. Scroll down to lines 284 to 289. If you are making the connection, then you'll notice that the code on these lines are exactly identical to the ones on water.fsh. So, what this means is all you need to do is repaste in your adjustments. I recommended two zeros before, so now, do zeros again. Save, and let's check this out in Minecraft. As with all my cutest shader tutorials, versions in time will change, so if you have any questions, then I'd be happy to help you out in the comment section down below. If this cutest shader tutorial was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys!